Hey guys, um, in this video, I want to show you how to grant root privileges to a user via vid, via visudo command, or basically just um editing the sudoers um file. So let's go ahead and do that. So make sure to uh, log in as a root in your um, SSH. So you wanna, because that's what I, I'm going to use so that you can follow along. Just use your root user um, when you log in. So once you've logged in, um, the first thing you wanna do if you want to add um, or to grant a user for that method for the root privileges um, method via sudoers file um, make sure you have a user of course so add user um, I believe we have we have a she uh, cheat sheet here user add or add user so let's do this um, I do have a, a, tutor a tutorial about this in the previous one just try to check out on the channel to the user so let's the first thing is to add a user so let's try to ID the user here so as you can see we now have a user and um, let me check um, and then we want to add a password for the user so let's go ahead and add a password I'm running as root by the way so the root user is just a name okay so let's try to add a password for that user <clears throat> okay and the previous video um, this is how we added the user into the wheel group which is a sudoers group so um, if you don't want to go through all this like for example adding the user to the wheel group or if you're um, not, I mean, if you're confused with that, the easiest way is to just um, copy this command here and go to your SSH console, paste it, and just replace this root user with your username. So whatever username, what is the username of the user you want to to grant privileges uh, I mean a root privileges then just do this and enter and then let's probably just restart SSHD I'm not sure if this helps I will let you know later on um, via the community post but um, it should it, it, it it's it's I believe best practices to restart when we um, try to edit things in regards to sudo sudo sudoers or whatever within the SSH so as you can see here um, if we open up the, that file let's go ahead and open that one so it will add it should add with that command as you can see this um, this line here which we added earlier so if you want to just um, actually grant a root privileges for a user without doing without adding it within the real group or so you just want to if you don't want to um, use this just in case you're you're confused with the wheel wheel group, which is I was in the um, when I was um when I was getting started I was confused with this, so and sometimes also when you some some providers um they usually um and com I mean comment or don't enable wheel group as a sudoer or i mean with 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 root privileges sometimes they 
actually um, disable it. So if you add a user within the wheel group, it might not work if they have disabled it. So what you need, what you would need to do first is to check out if they have uncommented um, this. Let me check out. So this is sometimes um, what happens if the wheel group don't work. So they usually um, comment this. This is the wheel, the wheel group, so as you can see. So if you add um, a user in the wheel group, it will just it will be the same as this. The only thing with this is you are adding as a as a specific user, while um, while this here is the group itself. So whatever you add in the wheel group, it will be automatically granted with um, our root privileges with using sudo, I believe. It's probably just the same though. So the only thing, the only difference is that some providers may disable it with this okay so if you're a beginner if you're not really familiar with uh, managing um, SSH or SSH console um, so what so the option or your your other option is this to make sure it works so just run this create a user um, add that user's password and then you can simply run this and it should work so yeah that's it um, thank you very much for watching um, see you in the next video